Hi everybody, I am Ali from A to Z Physics. In this video, we are going to talk about the second part of the atom. But first, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and to activate the bell button to watch every new video. In the previous video, we presented a historical preview about the development of atom model and we explained the emission and absorption spectra in addition to an introduction about Bohr's model of the atom. In this video, we are going to focus on Bohr's model, energy levels and various spectral series of hydrogen atom. Bohr proposed that the electrons move around the nucleus in circular orbit. These electrons can pass from one energy level to another by gaining or losing energy. So, according to Bohr, when an atom makes a transition from a higher energy level to a lower energy level, the energy is radiated in the form of photon having a certain energy equal to the difference between the two levels En minus Ep, where N is greater than P and En is greater than Ep. While the atom can make an upward transition from a lower energy level Ep to a higher energy level En by absorbing a photon of energy equal to the difference between En and Ep. Whatever the transition is, upward or downward, the energy of the photon is equal to En minus Ep. And since the energy of the photon is equal to Hc over lambda, so Hc over lambda equal to En minus Ep implies lambda equal to Hc over En minus Ep. So, lambda is maximum when En minus Ep is minimum. So, lambda maximum, which is the longest wavelength, is equal to Hc over En minus Ep minimum. And lambda is minimum when En minus Ep is maximum, and so Lambda minimum, which is the shortest wavelength, is equal to Hc over En minus Ep max. Application 1, Rydberg's formula. Knowing that the energy En of the hydrogen atom corresponding to an energy level N is given by En equal to minus 13.6 over N squared electron volt, and belong to N star, show that the wavelengths of the emitted photon during the downward transition from N to P verifies the relation 1 over lambda equal to R into 1 over P squared minus 1 over N squared, keeping in mind that N and P belong to N star and R is a constant to be determined. The energy of the photon is equal to En minus Ep equal to Hc over lambda minus 13.6 over n squared correspond to En minus into minus 13.6 over P squared which corresponds to Ep equal Hc over lambda Hc over lambda equal to minus 13.6 over n squared plus 13.6 over p squared times 1.6 times 10 to the power minus 19 joules to convert from electron volt into joules. Dividing by Hc, we get 1 over lambda equal 13.6 times 1.6 times 10 to the power minus 19 over Hc into minus 1 over n squared plus 1 over p squared. Replacing h and c and by simple calculation we get 1 over lambda equal 1.097 times 10 to the power 7 
into 1 over p squared minus 1 over n squared and by comparing this formula to 1 over lambda equal r into 1 over p squared minus 1 over n squared we get r equal to 1.097 times 10 to the power 7 meter minus 1. Application 2. In this application we are going to determine the expression of the energy levels of the hydrogen atom. A hydrogen atom in an energy level n passes to a lower energy level p emits a photon of wavelength lambda n to p such that 1 over lambda equal r into 1 over p squared minus 1 over n squared where r equal to 1.097 times 10 to the power 7 meter minus 1 is called Rydberg's constant for the hydrogen atom. First part show that the energy En of the hydrogen atom corresponding to an energy level N can be expressed as En equal minus HCR over N squared En minus EP equal to hc over lambda replacing 1 over lambda by Rydberg's formula which is r into 1 over p squared minus 1 over n squared implies en minus ep equal hcr over p squared minus hcr over n squared which is equal to minus hcr over n squared plus hcr over p squared and plus HCR over P squared can be written as minus into minus HCR over P squared. So uh, comparing the two sides of this expression, we get EN equal to minus HCR over N squared. Part 2. Deduce that the energy En expressed in electron volt may be written in the form En equal minus 13.6 over n squared electron volt. We have En equal to minus HCR over n squared replacing H, C and R we get minus 21.6. 78 times 10 to the power minus 19 over n squared joules and converting into electron volt we get en equal to minus 13.6 over n squared electron volt the energy en of the hydrogen atom corresponding to an energy level n is En equal to minus 13.6 over n squared electron volt. For n equal to 1, E1 equal to minus 13.6 over 1 squared. So E1 equal to minus 13.6 electron volt, which corresponds to the ground state. For n equal to 2, E2 equal minus 13.6 over 2 squared implies E2 equal minus 3.4 electron volt which corresponds to the first excited state and so on until we reach the ionized state for n equal to infinity we get E infinity equal to zero electron volt. This figure shows a simplified diagram of the energy levels of the hydrogen atom based on the calculated values of energy. Keep in mind that the energy levels are not equally spaced. The spectral lines arising from the transition of the electrons of an atom from a higher energy state to a lower energy state form a spectral series. The various spectral series of the hydrogen atom can be expressed by the help of orbital diagram of an atom. When a transition from higher excited state to the ground state n equal to 1 occurs in the atom, 
Lehman series is obtained. The values of the wavelengths of this series lie in the ultraviolet region of the electromagnetic spectrum. When a transition from higher excited states to the first excited state n equal to 2 occurs in the atom, Balmer series is obtained. The values of the wavelengths of the first four lines of this series lie in the visible region. When a transition from higher excited states to the second excited state n equal to 3 occurs in the atom, passion series is obtained. The values of the wavelengths of this series lie in the infrared region of the electromagnetic spectrum. This diagram shows the five series of the hydrogen atom. Lehman, Balmer, Passion, Bracket, and Fund series. Lehman series determine the longest wavelength lambda max and the shortest wavelength lambda minimum of the Lehman series. As we know, lambda max equal to hc over en minus ep minimum. The minimum energy transition of Lehman series is from n equal to 2 to n equal 1. Lambda max equal to hc over en minus e1 minimum equal to hc over e2 minus e1 Substituting HC, E2, and E1, we get lambda max equal 1.21 times 10 to the power minus 7 meter, and so lambda max equal 121 nanometer. Now, the minimum wavelength of Lehman is equal to hc over en minus ep max the maximum energy transition of Lehman series is from n equal to infinity to n equal 1 and so lambda replacing hc e infinity and e1 we get lambda minimum equal to 9.099 times 10 to the power minus 8 meter lambda minimum the shortest wavelength equal 90.9 nanometer. Note that all wavelengths in the Lehman series lie in the ultraviolet region, uh, lambda less than or equal 400 nanometer. Balmer series, part one, determine the longest wavelength, lambda max, of the Balmer series. Lambda is maximum when En minus E2 is minimum. The minimum energy transition for Balmer series corresponds to the transition n equal to 3 to n equal 2. Lambda max equal hc over e3 minus e2. So replacing hc, e3 and e2, we get lambda max equal 6.54 times 10 to the power minus 7 meter. So lambda max equal 654 nanometer. Part 2. Determine the wavelengths lambda 42, lambda 52, and lambda 62 that correspond to the transition 42, 52, and 62 respectively. Lambda 42 equal hc over e4 minus e2. Don't forget to convert the energies from electron volt into joule. You get lambda 42 equal 485 nanometer. Lambda 52 equal 432 nanometer. Lambda 62 equal 408 nanometer. Note that these four wavelengths in the Balmer series lie in the visible region while the other in the ultraviolet region. Passion series 1. Determine the longest wavelength lambda max of the passion series using Rydberg's formula. 
Lambda is maximum when E n minus E3 is minimum. The minimum energy transition for passion series corresponds to the transition n equal 3 to n equal n equal 4 to n equal 3. 1 over lambda equal 1.097 times 10 to the power 7, which is Rydberg's constant, into 1 over 3 squared minus 1 over 4 squared, you will get lambda max equal 1.875 times 10 to the power minus 6 meter, and so lambda max equal 1875 nanometer. 2. Determine the shortest wavelength lambda minimum of the passion series using Rydberg's formula. Lambda is minimum when E n minus E3 is max. And so the maximum energy transition for passion series corresponds to the transition n equal to infinity to n equal 3. 1 over lambda equal 1.097 times 10 to the power 7 into 1 over 3 squared minus 1 over infinity squared you will get lambda minimum equal 819.5 nanometer. Note that the wavelengths in the passion series lie in the infrared range. Bracket series and fund series lie in the infrared region also. This is the end of part 2. Watch part 3 next and make sure that you subscribe to our channel.